hello friends here we are going to study in this topic we are going to study the types of graphs okay so there are multiple types of graphs we are now going to study first one is simple graph okay so simple graph can be defined as a graph in which each edge connects two different vertices and where no two edges connect the same pair of vertices okay means every edge will connect two different vertices so that is a simple graph and there are no two edges connecting the same pair of vertices so suppose you, if you take the example of vertex a and vertex b so there should be single edge connecting the this two vertices so that will be called as simple graph so take take the example shown in the figure so you can see uh, there are four vertices vertex a vertex b vertex c and vertex d so every edge is connecting to different vertices if you take the example of this edge a to b is connecting to two different vertices okay now take the example of a to c it is also connecting to two different vertices so you don't find any edge like connect means two edges connecting to the same set of vertices if it would have been the case then we would not have called it as a simple graph okay so this is not the simple graph if there are two edges connecting same set of vertices see the example at the right side there are four vertices and four edges so here also it is also simple graph because there is only one edge connecting the pair of vertices okay so that is the simple graph okay the second one is multi graph so multi graph the graphs that have multiple edges connecting the same set of vertices are called as multi graphs so if you take the example of this figure so if you observe this from vertex b to c you find there are two edges one two so there are two edges so it is there are two parallel edges so it is called as multi graph so the graph in which multiple edges connecting to the same set of vertices are called as multi graph so if you take the example like this if suppose there is vertex a and vertex b and there are let's say three edges connecting to this pair of vertices so even though we will call it as a multi graph okay third one is loop so definition of loop is an edge of a graph that joins a node to itself is called a loop or self loop now let's take the example like like vertex a and if you find an edge connecting to the same vertex a that is called as a loop okay maybe here one more edge is there for vertex b right so this is called as loop the edge which is connecting to the same vertex is called as loop so remember in multi graphs no loops are allowed means the definition where we have seen multi graph here there are no loops allowed in multi graphs no loops allowed okay so fourth definition is pseudo graph so pseudo graph is the graph in which loops and multiple edges are allowed okay so in pseudo graph you will find the combination of loops also and multiple edges also okay so you find here it is a loop and from c to d you find there are two edges so it is multiple edges so multi graph and loop so this combination is called as pseudo graph okay so pseudo graph is the combination of multiple edges and loops this is one more example where you will where you find multiple edges so from a to b you find multiple edges there are two edges connecting to the same pair of vertices and there is one loop at c so this is loop so it is a presence of multiple edges and loops so we call it as a pseudo graph so this graph is also pseudo graph okay. next is undirected graph 
so simple the undirected graph is having an ordered pair of vertices is called as undirected graph so here there is no order like an order means suppose let's see consider the example of this graph having three vertices a b c so you can represent this graph with vertex a b c or b c a or c b a any order so there is no fixed order so this is called as unordered pair of vertices so that is why it is called as undirected graph okay so you can represent the h a b as a b also or or also you can represent it as b a okay next definition is directed graph or digraph okay so the graph containing ordered pair of vertices and each edge of the graph has a direction is called the directed graph so here the vertex vertices are in order and every edge has direction so you can see here there is a direction represented from a to b b to c and c to again a so this is directed graph so we can write it only like this a to b you cannot write it like this b to a because there is no edge directing from b to a okay so if you want to represent this graph edges of this graph you will represent like this a to b b to c and c to a so this is ordered pair so that's why it is called as directed graph okay so there are some terminal uh, terminologies with directed graph the initial that is the starting vertex that is here a is is called as initial vertex so this is initial vertex and the last one that is when we trace from the farthest farthest or longest end from a that is called as terminal vertex so this is terminal vertex okay so e the edge is said to be incident from u to u and to be incident to v so it is going from for one end to another end okay that is the direction now see when there are m directed edges each associated with a ordered pair of vertices uv we say that uv is an multiplicity of m okay so let's say suppose there are two vertices a b and there are three directed edges so multiplicity of this is 3 okay so this is saying the same definition a graph with both directed and undirected edges is called as mixed graph okay so there can be the combination of directed and undirected edges also so that is called as mixed graph so let's say, take the example like a b c d okay so here let's say some edges are directed and some edges are undirected so undirected so we call it as a mixed graph okay so these are the types of graphs that we have studied hope you have understood thank you